Hello, this is Mitch Wagner from Light Reading. I'm here with Frank Morales. He is VP Marketing of BU Connectivity for Orange Business Services. Welcome, Frank. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mitch. Happy to be there with you. Great. So, uh, MEF has been making a lot of progress in SD-WAN with regard to APIs and components. How does that affect uh, your, your business with your business customers? Oh, um, first of all, you need to know that uh, we are supporting this uh, MEF initiative on the uh, evolution towards SD1 and the API and all these things. As you may know, we are developing a lot around SD1 with our flexible SD1 solution. And one side of our flexible SD1 is really to, uh, uh, to have a multi-vendor SD1 expertise. So we are, we are working with several vendors. And to have the ability to have a northbound API uh, to uh, put that into our portal, to offer a managed service or a co-managed service to our customer is very is very something which is will be useful for us. Uh, it will avoid us to have a portal for one vendor, a portal for another one, a portal for a third one. It's really something that we are looking forward for to have. Great. So, and um, what are your business customers demanding nowadays? Oh, our customers are simply demanding to uh, to be a company for their digital transformation. Uh, they are very uh, business use case oriented. Uh, a lot of things around application. Of course, cloud transformation is huge. And so they are looking for a solution uh, to bring them the right level of service uh, to ensure high quality and user experience for business critical application located in the cloud. And to make that happen, Flexible SD1 is really the solution we are bringing on the table uh, with five pillars. SD1 multi vendor expertise, native cloud connectivity, best of breed security, global services, and of course, future proof solution. So, it's really what we are uh, providing to our customers in response to their digital transformation. Okay, and what kind of challenges are you seeing in providing your business customers with flexible hybrid solutions and also the kind of cloud connectivity that they need? Oh, uh, good thing. I think very important to, to know is. Uh, but we are providing hybrid solution for a while now. And as I have mentioned this morning in my talk, uh, we are seeing the evolution of the traffic pattern from MPLS technology to internet technology, uh, of course, and internet as a destination. And one of the challenge we have in doing, in doing this for our customers is to have this ability to provide them with internet local service provider which are fully compatible with SD1 solutions and as well uh, that we are able to manage uh, uh, their operational performance. Uh, and this is something we are able to do uh, thanks to our long experience to source Ethernet links to, de to deploy MPLS uh, solution. So we are using the same kind of process to select our ISP uh, locally uh, and to make sure that we have the right back-to-back -back, uh, way of doing things in order to ensure the right level of service by using internet connection for our customers. Okay, so what is the importance of the, uh, the, F the MEF conference that we're at right now? Uh, importance of MEF conference, for me, is my first conference, so it's, uh, I'm very happy to be there. Uh, what I'm seeing is, uh, and it's, it's quite something important, is MEF has very shift within the technology area and is really embracing uh, all the evolution of this huge demand towards transformation, digital transformation. And so for us, it's very important to be there to see how the uh, industry is evolving, the opportunity we have with uh, LSO, with API, with all these things, is very something which is with a great value for us in order to be able to deliver the right level of services for our customers. And how important is 5G? Oh, 5G is in permanent. We just end up with a, a first 5G uh, call and uh, data transaction in France. Uh, and it's, of course, very important. It's the next step. Uh, I think it will modify quite a lot uh, the way we are providing local loop. Uh, of course, we are deploying in certain countries like France and Spain as a group uh, fiber to the home. Uh, but I can see 5G as the next evolution or maybe the next revolution by providing huge capacity as a local loop uh, in order to facilitate first deployment, uh, 
uh, in order to facilitate backup lines, in order to facilitate the absorption of uh, internet usage, uh, which will increase a lot. We are forecasting 15, 20% increase each year for a, a branch. So it's, uh, it's very important. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Mitch.